take care of home. One of the biggest struggles that I had in my very first ministry when I came to the full knowledge of Christ, uh, starting out this journey gung ho for God was my balance with family and church. And when I mean family, I'm talking about my personal household with my children and my husband. Because the umbrella that I was under was very, you know, very cultish. You know, I, I spoke about my experience just before. But nevertheless, I will always, I'm always grateful to God from everything that I went through. Because again, the Bible says all things will work out for the good of them that love the Lord or are called according to his purpose. So I thank God. I will, you know, he, definitely how he showed me that that was just my Moses experience of how I was, I was in the enemy's camp. I was taught. There are a lot of things happen there and the Lord deliver me out of there. So I thank God. But nevertheless, getting back to the struggle with family and church, because the again, the umbrella that I was under would, you know, throw these little things out in, in your ear, the mind control and, and the falsified narrative of, oh, God wouldn't give you all these children. He wouldn't give you this household for you to pull away from him, like for you to put all your energy in there and then you're not giving no time over here, kind of have you in conflict and feeling like you're playing this tug of war. And that, like, that's how I felt. I felt like I was being torn in two because it's like, God, I love you. I want to please you. I want to do everything for you. I'm learning you here. I'm learning about you. I'm learning the will and the way that you, you know, I'm just learning everything about you. Um, I want to go along this journey. I feel this tug from you of, you know, I feel you drawing nigh to me and I'm drawing nigh to you. But I'm being pulled, like, how how can I raise this family, be here for my children, be here for my husband, but then I know I got to give you all this time, right? And then it kind of, like, became warped with putting the church. And it's, it's not even, when you look at it, it was not even God. It was the church, the, the shepherd needs this. You got to give them this. You got to give them all my time was spent serving the shepherd. And my family was falling by the wayside. And which left the door open for the enemy to come in and cause havoc. And and just it was just a lot of turmoil that was happening due to me being out of order. And, you know, the Bible says in First Timothy chapter 3, verses 4 or 5, and I'm paraphrasing, like, how, if, if you're not taking care of your house, you got unruly, everything is unruly, you're not really ruling well over your home, how then do you think you're going to come in God's house and rule God's house and, and take care of God's business? That's just so out of order. And we're supposed to raise these children up in the way of the Lord. So when they grow older, they do not depart. And the the again, where I came from, it was just, oh, yeah, you know, bring them to church. Everything had to be a church, 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 church. It, where's the balance of me pouring into them, you know, pouring into them emotionally, mentally, psychologically, helping them grow, helping them mature in every facet of their life. And my husband, you know, it was just a lot happening and got to the point where I'm like, God, this is this is not right. Right. I'm like, I, I can't do this. And a lot, a lot was being played on my my love for God, right? Well, it was God, God you love God. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to be here like 24-7 in the church. How does that, that left my door, my house just in disarray because I'm not there. I'm not doing for my kids. And how can I dare think I'm doing something for God? And this is all out of order. And I really wanted to encourage all the mothers and just family in general to seek God, the, the, the leader should never have you tearing you away from your family. They should push you towards your household and helping you help your household grow. It should never be a separation. It should never be trying to giving you ultimatums, right? Kind of making it feel like you're having ultimatums of, oh, if you love God, you'll do this. If you love God, you'll do this. If you love God, you won't go there. I'm talking about like those simple things of the kids got games and it's like, well, well we need you here. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of ownership I had to take too, because you know when you are as a child, you think as a child. If you get older, you gotta mature, and and I needed to seek God my myself. I needed to get say in my word. I need to really to come go to God and see what should you have, what shall you have for me to do, How, what do you want me to do instead of having a, a man tell you what you need to do. And I'm talking about not just an actual literal man, just a, a, a person of na a person telling you what to do. No, seek God. Seek God. Don't put nobody on a pedestal making them your Lord. You, we need to seek God in every facet of our life. So I pray for everyone who is conflicted right now or, or battling with a feeling like they're being torn. They want to please God, but then they, 
they, they feel like, you know, they got to let their family go by the wayside. That's not of God. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God will open up your eyes to see, open up your ears to hear what it is that he shall have for you to do and with concerning your family and how he wants you to go through and ministry and learning him and going through your whole Christian walk. In Jesus' name, until next time, take care of home. God bless.